You're walking into a crowded room and it makes you want to withdraw and find a place where you can be alone. Does it sound familiar? If it does, you're not alone. Some people love being around others all the time. They might have huge friend groups or be at parties every Friday night. You might be wondering, how are they able to do that? Do you find it difficult to be around others even if you just can't put your finger on why? If so, here are five reasons why you might not like being around other people. You surround yourself with the wrong people. You might not like being around most people, but is it really everyone? Perhaps it has something to do with the people you surround yourself with. There might be a group of people that you typically hang out with, but at your core, don't truly like. Whether it's because their morals or beliefs don't align with yours, you feel like people aren't being genuine or because you simply don't have anything in common with them. Being with the wrong crowd may have led you to believe that you don't like being around people. Are you still friends with people because you feel obligated to or because you genuinely like them and want to spend more time with them? If it's the former, then it might be a sign that you should start hanging around new people. Stress. Sometimes stress and anxiety can cause us to dislike being in the presence of others. According to research at the Dartmouth Social Neuroscience Lab, people who experienced more stress on one day socialized with others less the next day. If you've been frequently stressed, whether it's because of assignments, a job, or anything, it might be contributing to your social avoidance and withdrawal from interactions with other people. Stress can be a big factor in a lot of mental health conditions, according to Dartmouth assistant professor Megan Meyer. If you're stressed and withdraw socially as a response, you may be missing the opportunity of using social interactions to mitigate your mental health issues, especially during a time when you did the most. After all, we humans are social creatures. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. You're an introvert. While this one might be a little obvious, there are a lot of misconceptions about introverts simply not liking other people. For introverts, being around others can be draining, and there could be a biological reason for it. A study in the Journal of Cognitive Neuroscience found that introverts process social stimuli in the brain differently from extroverts. When exposed to images of human faces, extroverted people were associated with having P300 brain waves with higher amplitudes. The study also found that extroverts were more sensitive or attentive to and found greater motivational value in social stimuli than introverts. Introverts tend to keep to themselves a lot more often than their extroverted counterparts. After a certain time, their social battery runs out, which is when being around others can be tiresome. The study might explain why. For introverts, being around other people might not provide as much value as for extroverts, making them prefer being alone more with other people. You're a highly sensitive person. According to Psychology Today, a highly sensitive person, HSP, is someone sensitive to sensory processing, processing and increased emotional sensitivity or reactivity to external and internal stimuli. It's estimated that 15 to 20% of the population are HSPs. If you're an HSP, you might find it difficult to be around others because there's so much information to process. The conversations, actions, or even emotions of other people can be overwhelming. Issues with processing might even make you upset in social situations. For instance, being around too many people can lead you to feel overstimulated or overwhelmed, even irritable or anxious. Sensory processing sensitivity is not something that can simply be switched off, which is why HSPs might avoid overly social settings. High intelligence. Research suggests that highly intelligent people actually prefer to be alone instead of around others. In a paper published in the British Journal of Psychology by Lee and Kanazawa, it was discovered that highly intelligent people experience lower life satisfaction when they socialize more often with friends. These findings were based in evolutionary psychology. In groups, the more intelligent members were able to solve problems without needing help from their friends and are happier being alone to solve challenges on their own. Solitude is the way for highly intelligent people to reset themselves after being in highly stressful urban environments. Still, even though highly intelligent people might feel like they don't benefit as much from friendships, still might socialize just as much or even more often than less intelligent people. This isn't to say that highly intelligent people don't socialize, but if you find yourself able to thrive and solve problems better on your own, it might be one of the reasons why you don't like being around others. Final thoughts. It's important to understand why some people may not enjoy being around others and not shame them for it. Which one of these reasons resonates with you the most? Are there multiple that you relate to? Let us know in the comments. We hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, 
We'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe to us for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.